part C of this bounces back to the binomial setting again. Um, again, it asks to define a, um, a variable. It's saying if you had a set of 10 suspicious transactions, what is the probability of finding exactly two that were blocked? So this is a binomial setting, and it's going to go into that world of where we do binomial PDF, binomial CDF. Um, reminder, binomial PDF is an exact number. Binomial CDF is a range below, so it's that number and below. So in this case, it's an, it's a, an exact number. So we are dealing with, again, defining a variable, y equals the number of block transaction in, in a batch of 10 suspicious, trans, uh, suspicious transactions. And it is a binomial setting because we have a fixed number of trials, 10, and we're counting the number of successes, in this case, 2. Uh, so what we needed to do next was we needed to do the actual binomial setting. Now, to write this down, somehow you need to communicate that you're looking at a probability of this random variable equaling 2. You could have written it in words. You could have said the probability of finding two, uh, two block transactions out of 10 specific, and that would have been fine. Now, again, this formula is on your formula sheet. It's there. The binomial PDF formula is there on your formula sheet. Um, it's n choose k. This is, the, this is your binomial coefficient. How many ways can you get two successes out of 10? Um, the next is your probability of success raised to your, um, oh, that's a mistake. That should actually be your number of successes. Um, so your number of successes. And then your failure probability raised to the number of failures. So k is my number of successes, n minus k is my number of failures. I go ahead and plug in the numbers. 10 is my sample size. 2 is my number of successes. Uh, 0.4 is my probability of success. I want two of them. 0.6 is my failure probability. I want eight of them. And then this is going to give me a, a probability of 0 0.1209. Now, I'm going to show you again calculator-wise how to do this so that uh, you can follow along. What you're going to do here is, hopefully I'll be able to get both of those on the screen at the same time. You're going to go ahead and you're going to press the second button, second button here. You're going to press VARS. And what you're going to do is you're going to arrow until you find binomial PDF. So it's on this one, letter A is binomial PDF. That's our exact. We hit enter there. It's going to ask us for our number of trials. So in this case, our number of trials is 10. P is our probability of success. This will always be a decimal. So in this case, our probability of success is 40%. X value is your number of successes. So in this case, it's 2. We paste that in. We go ahead. We hit enter because it's going to give us the answer. And it gave us 0.1209, 3, 2, 3, 5, 2. And what I, was, what I would do in the case here is I just round it to four decimal points. Now, what I want to tell you is I would stay away from calc speak here. I would not put down the binomial PDF words here, I would write down this formula with the number substituted and then the answer. Realistically, I think what we really need to show is somehow communicate the probability statement, the formula with numbers plugged in, and then what the actual probability would come out to be. So in this case, it's about a 12% chance of that happening. Um, this is a typical probability question, the three parts that I saw. And this is something you kind of should be prepared for. Binomial and geometric are definitely very popular things that they offer on the, on the AP test.